Well, I'm not quite sure what intrigued you to come to the this particular video, but perhaps it was holiday, Christmas, adult beverages. So I want to show you the finished product here, and then I'm going to go in and show you how to make each one. But we have a cranberry margarita. We have an old-fashioned with brandy. We have a martini with cranberry. This is for the children, so they're not left out. Here we have a warm eggnog with whipped cream and uh, Southern Comfort. And over here we have an eggnog mudslide. And this one is a grasshopper. So if any or all of these look good to you, stay tuned. Come on, watch the rest of the video. Be sure to subscribe. Come back. Bye. I hope you enjoy them. We're going to enjoy them. And Merry Christmas and it's Grandma Roseanne and we're doing something entirely different today. We're going to be making some beautiful, beautiful Christmas drinks that are adult beverages. Now I am going to have one in there for the kiddos too, so hang in for that because they'll enjoy that a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to be a Christmas margarita. Now three ounces of tequila. Three ounces of sweet and sour mix. One shot of triple set. It's an orange liqueur. Okay, one and a fourth. One shot of Grand Monier. Two shots of cranberry juice, and I'm using pure cranberry juice. It gives it that real Christmas look. And one shot of fresh orange juice. All right, we're gonna mix that up. And if you just taste it like this, I'll tell you it's a little strong, okay? But once you get your shaker in here and you shake it and you dilute it with some of that ice, it's really pretty darn good. Alrighty, there we go. And because I'm a crybaby when it gets cold, I have to do this. This is why I could never be a bartender. They say 30 seconds. That's a long time. Is that 30 seconds? Probably 15. Okay, that's my 30. What I did is I took um, just some sugar, put a little drop of red food color in there, mixed it all up, and then I took my glass and I rimmed it with some of the orange peel. And now you just want to coat your glass. Just like this. Aren't these beautiful glasses, you guys? I love these glasses. I found them in Rome and ever so carefully carried them back from a wonderful trip. And there you go, a beautiful Christmas margarita. Now, I just garnished it with some fresh cranberries and this is some thyme. And I'm going to just take a little taste of it because I'm doing several of them here. That is outrageously good. All right, on to the next one. Now, what do you think about a cranberry margarita? No, 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 we just did that. What do you think about a cranberry martini? So lovely. Now, you can use any type of vodka you care to use. I'm going to put in two ounces of vodka, two ounces of simple syrup. 
Now, if you haven't, <clears throat> if you haven't made simple syrup, it's really simple. <laughs> it's equal portions of sugar to water. So this was one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then you just dissolve it, and that's it. And then this will stay for a, forever. So I make this, and then whenever we're going to have any kind of cocktails, I just pull it out of my pantry. So we want equal portions, so we want two of those. And two ounces of cranberry juice. And I've got this filled with ice. And once again, whoa. <laughs> now, if anybody knows why this would be, I'd love it if you would explain it to me. This was kind of a pricey shaker. It's got a hole right there. I don't know why. Why would there be a hole there? Because stuff comes out, so I always have to plug the hole. I'm sure there's a reason for it that I don't understand. All righty. Get a sweet little martini glass. Cameraman said I should take a sip. Yeah, you haven't sipped it. <laughs> um, I'm making several of them, cameraman. All right. Oh, wow. That one's really good. Now, what do you think about an eggnog mudslide? You have to say that slow. Eggnog mudslide. I think it sounds really good. Here you're going to need some equipment. You're going to need a blender. I put in uh, probably a cup and a half of ice, one quarter cup of eggnog, three tablespoons of Kahlua, So if you want to mix it up, you can do like one and a half Kahlua and one and a half Bailey's Irish Cream. That's really good too. Tablespoons of vodka. And we blend. Hershey syrup. Now what you want to do is tilt the glass and let it just drizzle down just like that. Try not to disturb that totally. Now, professional bartenders, I'm quite sure, make this really elegant. I don't know how to do that. So, this is all I'm doing. Oh, well, looks great. Who could not love a cherry on top? Oh, what do you think? Mm -hmm. That, I mean, honestly, people, you could serve this to anyone and they would be thrilled. Eggnog, mudslide. Moving on to the next one. This is so fun. An old fashioned is just a staple uh, cocktail. I think it's been around since probably the 1900s. It's a very, very old cocktail. So we're going to put a little bit of a twist on that and we're going to make a cranberry old fashioned. So, so in here I have a couple of wedges of orange, just like that. 
I'm popping in one sugar cube and some bitters and just a dash of bitters, just like that. And then you want to really get the flavor out, so you're gonna muddle it, just like this. One fourth cup of brandy. You can all use, also use one fourth cup of bourbon if you prefer that. I wish you could smell this really smells nice. So in our pretty Christmas uh, goblet here, we're going to put our mix in. And top it with club soda. is so good oh my goodness wow all right cranberry old-fashioned now we're going to make a grasshopper and a grasshopper is really a wonderful after dinner drink it's very fresh it's got ice cream and it is nice now the one thing i want you to be careful of when you're doing one of these drinks the longer you blend it the thinner it gets and if you want it to have that nice chunky um, feel of ice cream, then you want to be really careful not to do it too long, okay? So, so I have one fourth cup of cream de mint. One fourth cup of cream de cocoa, and that's the white one. I've got ice cubes in there already and two cups of ice cream. <laughs> that cream de mint smells fantastic, you guys. just by itself on ice it's, it's really a nice after dinner drink if you are so inclined there You ready? Isn't that just beautiful? Okay. Grasshopper, so good. Now this is just a slight twist on a very normal drink, which is eggnog. So I have put eggnog in here and we're going to put in one ounce of Southern Comfort. Give that a nice stir. What I did here that you did not see is I warmed the eggnog. When you warm the eggnog and then you add the Southern Comfort to it, it's just like when you put spices into uh, a pan and you're going to bloom them. Well, we just bloom the Southern Comfort. Now then, a little rim of this and some nutmeg. Warm Southern Comfort Eggnog. Now I told you we would do one for the children and this is one for the kiddos. They want to have part of the celebration as well. So whoops, rim the glass. And this part for the kids is really important. Then roll it in sprinkles 
as every child loves those sprinkles. These little brown ones are bouncing all over my counter, you guys. I'll be stepping on them for a week. Isn't that pretty? All right. And club soda. And I don't know about your children, but I will tell you, my grandkids would go crazy for this. Just crazy for it. All right, now, just give me a second. I'm going to put them out so you can have a good view of everything we have created. Well, here we are. This is our adult beverage buffet. <laughs> can you imagine just making any one of these drinks or a few of them and just serving those to your guests through the holidays. So let me just kind of go over them one more time. This is a cranberry margarita. This is an old fashioned with brandy. This beautiful little thing is a grasshopper. Cranberry martini. Eggnog mudslide. Eggnog with Southern Comfort that has been warmed with some um, nutmeg on top. And then not to forget our babies. So I think what we have here is just an amazing array of cocktails that you can make beautiful beverages that you can give your guests and many of these can be made ahead they really can uh, i think all of them even the grasshopper just put it in the freezer okay so with that i'm going to wish you all a wonderful wonderful holiday season i hope you have so much fun i hope you have family and i hope you're just blessed with just love around you. I really hope that for each and every one of you. So now, my dilemma is, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff now? The only thing I want to take a sip of, and they're all delicious, only want to take a sip of this cranberry martini because as I was making it, it was looking and smelling good. I think that became my favorite drink. I really do. I mean, they're all wonderful, but this one has such a nice balance and freshness to it. So what I'm gonna do is just give my neighbors a call. I'm gonna take a picture of this and I'm gonna send it to them and say, please come and have whatever you would like. So thank you. I will describe all of the drinks below with the ingredients and um, subscribe, hit the little button, be sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell and come on back and we will be doing a whole lot more Christmas stuff. Thank you for coming. Bye.